Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, just this morning, I was trying to create a, a like a favorite button. Um, I guess you could also make it like an upvote or a like button, like Facebook does, with like a thumbs up. But I was basically in Rails trying to create a, a like button in which a user could like this post, um, which incidentally looks like shit. But don't worry about it. This isn't the, really the point of the video. So basically, a user could like this post, and when I click on it. Um, they would like the post and the change would be reflected in this number here which does occur so I'm gonna click favorite so a user just favorited this but as you'll see it doesn't change the number the count of likes or upvotes doesn't change instead I have to refresh the page for it to be reflected which is you know not a great user experience you want them to almost immediately see what's going on so um, in this quick little screencast I'm gonna show you how I, s I think I've sorta of figured it out with Ajax and um, it works out fairly well. Uh, again, you can just make this an upvote or a, or a, a like button, whatever you want. Uh, in this case, I wanted it to be a star because it's sort of like a favorite situation. So, again, I and if I click it again, uh, this should it, essentially, if it's by the same user, it counts as like a dislike or an unfavorite or a downvote. So this should become a zero. Um, but as you see, it didn't happen instantaneously. Instead, I have to refresh for it to be whoops for it to be reflected so um, so let's go ahead and get started so I've got a bit of a roadmap here as to how I did it just some quick notes um, this the stuff that's not in bold is just boilerplate stuff so basically I've got a rails app which is you know you create by doing rails new and then I just added the rails admin gem which you can check out um, it basically gives you a dashboard so that you can create a res I mean uh, instances of a resource and stuff like that uh, in this case, I'm just creating posts. I just created a simple nav bar and a layout. Obviously, it looks pretty terrible. Um, that's not the point. Again, then we added device. We created the user model. So we have users, and we also created post model. A post has a title and a body, just as you can see here. So here's the title. Uh, this is the body. And I'm using some simple lorem ipsum. Actually, this is Samuel Ipsum, which is pretty awesome. It's hilarious. So you can generate it, and it creates... Um, pretty cool uh, boilerplate you know just filler uh, filler in Samuel L. Jackson sort of style um, so pretty cool placeholder right there but anyway so we need our controller so we're probably gonna start from here in the bold stuff so uh, we I've already got these basic actions index show update but we are gonna create a vote uh, method and it's going to have a couple a couple different things inside of it that correspond to both the device gem and to another gem that we're going to add called access votable which essentially gives us a whole bunch of the the like and upvote functionality just straight out of the box so um, after that we'll basically tell our controller to respond to javascript and we'll create the views and, as well as uh, an ajax or a, a javascript file that we're going to put in the post views folder um, we'll add the jam uh, we'll do a couple other things there so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started enough talking so first thing we'll do is head on over to the controller file in our controller file we're gonna define a method here called vote and let's close it here and before we even move any for any further let's just add it to our um, to our before action so we'll say only I'm gonna say vote and we're also going to add it here in the before set post we're also going to say vote so save that so we'll go back down to our action here and what we're going to say first is it's going to be basically an if statement and we're going to say if not current user dot liked whoops the post and now bear with me because these are well this is a device helper but this is a access uh, votable helper and we haven't installed that yet so uh, if you're too confused by that I'm sorry we're gonna get to that in one second we're gonna install that right after this uh, then what we'll say is um, what we'll tell it what happens in that case so the post uh, liked by also another helper current user uh, we'll use an else if here and we'll say current user dot liked post and a different situation. We'll say post dot unliked uh, by I believe that's the correct helper, current user, and let's end this. 
save that really quick and well, if, you know what I hate I'm sorry I did that first I probably should have installed the gem first but anyway um, if you go to uh, Ryan 2 Axis Votable you can see uh, you can read all the docs uh, as far as, as, as this gem goes Axis Votable um, you've got all the helpers everything that you need um, down here we've got some stuff on caching which we're going to be using later to to find the the total number of votes or the total count so uh, what's the next step let's head on over to our handy dandy roadmap here um, okay we've got the vote action pretty much completed uh, yep I actually forgot to tell the controller to respond to uh, JavaScript on basically all the actions so we'll say respond to JavaScript might as well just put these in there as well save that and what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and add um, we might as well add access votable to the gem file so you're gonna go to github.com slash Ryan to access votable and we'll just take the name of the gem here I'm not gonna copy the version whatever um, we'll just go ahead and open up our gem file and paste that in there close this let's run the bundle here real quick hopefully everything works out cool we'll restart the server and uh, we should have that gem installed so now uh, a lot of these methods uh, a lot of these helpers are available to us now there's still a few more steps that you gotta that you gotta do to to finalize the installation of this gem so you're gonna go ahead I've actually done these already so you're gonna generate on axis votable migration right here and then you're gonna migrate the database so go ahead and pause the video if you want and uh, get that done and what we're going to do, do now is mess with the model. So let's first go ahead into the post model and add this line right here, access votable, which is the resource that's being voted or, or liked. Okay, so let's go over to our post model real quick. And we'll open it up. Let's see where is that thing? Models, post. And we will say axe as votable. Save and close that. Let's close our controller as well. Now, one thing we should remember about the controller is um, this vote, the name of this method here. It's very important because um, our JavaScript file has to correspond to that name. Or it should correspond. It makes it a lot easier. So actually, let me do this too. I'm actually not using these because I'm using Rails admin, but um, might as well. Whatever. Do I need update? Fuck it. Let's just put it in there. Take it out. Screw it. Okay. Save that. Close this. Now the user is going to be the one voting on the post. So we are going to, according to the documentations, say, um, where is it? I believe it's acts as voter. Acts as voter. There you go. So you're going to add this to your user model, which was created by device. So we didn't go over all that, but it's fairly simple, just basic device um, authentication setup. So we'll say acts as voter okay cool so now that uh, relationship has been created let's save that and what we can do now is go ahead and add the routes necessary for this to work um, let me see if that's that's right yeah we'll do number 10 a bit later uh, because we're not creating the views yet let me move this down here because it's not as crucial so we'll create the views at the end uh, and we'll do this right before we create the views Cool, so uh, routes is next, let's do that. So we'll open up our routes file, config routes, so let's close this model, config routes, and we're gonna say resources posts. Um, let's go to the end of this and we'll say, we'll put it in a block and we'll say member do put like to our vote action. Cool, let's end that. We need another end. Um, that looks about right. Okay, cool. Now, if you didn't have resources posts, um, that was added prior to the video began when we created our, our post controller. So uh, you just go ahead and add that. Uh, it's fine if you're doing it by hand or with a generator, or whatever. Works either way. So next step is to uh, let's go ahead and create the the JavaScript file. It's going to have some embedded Ruby, a little bit of jQuery. So let's start on it. Let's move back to our editor and close our routes file. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the posts view folder and we'll create a new file. 
and it's going to be a .js .erb. So we'll say vote .js .erb, and remember, vote is the name of our action that this file has to correspond with. So let's create that. Let's open it up, and we're going to use a little bit of embedded Ruby and some jQuery. So we'll say embedded Ruby if current user has liked the post. Let's close that. Let's finish this off first. It's going to be an if else statement, so we'll say, whoops, end. And let's add the else in here. This is why Hamel is really cool. You guys should check out Hamel because you don't have to do all these if else uh, syntax things. It's much, it's a much cooler syntax. So anyway, this is just a quick screencast, so we don't need it. Um, we'll say if else end, and then inside these we'll use jQuery. So we'll say target this class like button which we are going to create in just a second in the view we're going to add the class like to it in this scenario and then in the in an else scenario oops see we're going to do something similar but instead we're going to say like button add class oops I didn't close that first we'll do that and we'll just say like button we don't want this to change um now we should worry about uh, the count, the number, right? So here we'll say something like, um, okay, jQuery likes count. That's also another class we're going to create. And the HTML inside of it is going to be something like, and I may have to revise this because I haven't created it yet. It's going to be something like post.get upvotes size and that reminds me let's uh, work on caching right now really quick just to make sure that uh, all of this ends up working so save this and go back to the um, access votable documentation and we'll take a look at um, caching and we're going to create a migration for it so uh, let's see caching so we're going to take everything in here let's copy that copy and you know what? Let's create a new file. So we're going to kill this really quick. And we're going to say Rails G migration add cached likes to posts. So we'll say that. Boom. Let's go ahead and open that file up. I have already tried this, so it's giving me a, a whatchamacallit, a, a conflict. But essentially, you're just going to open that file up check it out and it's basically gonna look like something like this it's gonna say um, hold on let me delete all this so you can see delete it's gonna say something like def change like that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of that def change and paste everything that we copied from over here now our tables already called posts so you don't have to edit that but if you had something else like I don't know articles or something like that then you would have to change it so go ahead and save that close it and run rake db migrate okay awesome I've already done that therefore I'm not going to do it again and I'll just restart my server here and the next thing we got to do is uh, create our view in which some of these classes are used and we have a bit of embedded Ruby that contains this uh, little snippet here so let's go ahead and do that we'll open up our uh, posts show page or post show uh, template and essentially it's just the title very simple it takes the instance variable has the title and the body it looks stupid but whatever and it looks like this first post and some content so you know what let's just create another post because I'm sick of looking at that so we'll say we'll go into rails admin posts new let's call this one blah 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 Ajax upvotes and let's add some Sam Ipsum Generate it, bitch. Now there's a Tech 9, a crappy spray gun from South Miami. That's good. I like that. I'm going to take this, copy that, put it in the body. And you can see now that um, all of these other fields have been added because of that migration we ran. So we'll save that. Boom. We'll go and we'll open the second post. Awesome. So uh, this isn't going to look good again, but let's just add, uh, let's add a thumbs up here uh, with the count. So we're going to go back to our show view. Here we are. 
And the first thing we're going to do is add a link to statement. So embedded Ruby equals link to like post path, pass in the post specifically. Uh, let's add that class now that we reference in our um, in our jQuery. So we'll say like button, and then we'll say method is equal to put. And this is important so that um, the JavaScript, so that it knows that we're using JavaScript in our controller. Remote is going to be true. And we'll just go ahead and close that off. Cool. Then let's just add a simple, um, let's just add a div here. That doesn't need a class, whatever. And let's close that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's make this a span. And inside there, we'll put a p tag. And we'll say class equals. Um, Let's make it a thumbs up, right? So FA, FA, thumbs up, I think. And let's make it big, so we'll say three times. Cool. And then, um, yeah, let's just close it up. So we'll close that. Uh, close the, the I tag, and the P tag, and the span tag. Close span, then the div is already closed. Cool, so we don't need that space there. Uh, and then let's just uh, end the link to, whoops, end. There we go. And now we need the uh, the little snippet for the uh, the count. So we're gonna say span class equals likes count, which if you'll remember is the class that we gave it here. So we're essentially referencing this class from our view. And we'll say embedded Ruby at post dot get upvote size and save that. Let's close the span and let's format this a little nicer. Something's up because my formatting doesn't look right so let's close this really quick. Let's make that smaller. Okay so let's see. We drop this down. Um, this formatting still not right. <coughs> Excuse me and I think it's because this is supposed to be a um, a do block, so we'll say do. About there we go. Okay, formatting has been fixed. Cool. So um, I think we are pretty much done here. Let's go ahead and try it out. So what we're gonna do is make sure this is saved. We'll go over to our uh, local host in the browser and let's refresh this, and we should see our thumbs up right there and our counter. Cool. So moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and click and uh, see if this counter upvotes or if it changes. So, boom, awesome. So it worked. So we've got a one here. And you can see it turned red because I added a, a liked class in the styles and I just basically set the color to red. So when it's liked, it changes red. And when the person clicks again, the counter reflects that. Whoops, I clicked twice. The counter reflects that and it loses its style. So. Uh, there you go. That's how you make a quick upvote slash like slash favorite button in Rails and you use jQuery and Ajax to avoid a page refresh. So give it a shot and uh, let me know how it goes. Later.